Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Maggie McMenamin, and this is Inside the College. I'm the president of Union County College, and our show this month is all about the Union County College Foundation. Our first guest in today's show is Doug Rouse, the executive director of the Union County College Foundation. Welcome, Doug. Thank you so much, Dr. McMenamin. We're thrilled to be talking today about the foundation because we're in preparation right now for the annual Foundation Gala. And I've asked Doug to come in this morning to lead us off this morning and talk about not only the gala, but just give us some information about the foundation broadly. So Doug, what's the purpose of the foundation? Well, the foundation's key uh, purpose is to raise money in support of our students through scholarships. Every year, the foundation funds nearly $850,000 in scholarship for nearly 600 students. We need so much more support because our students are in dire need for, uh, to, to get an education. And one of the big hurdles for them is financial. So how big are the scholarships? I mean, is any donation, what makes it different? Absolutely, we have scholarships that run from $250 up to full $5,000 scholarships. Uh, we've just got an endowed scholarship of $500,000 that'll fund nine separate scholarships for our students. Every year, nine separate scholarships? Every year, for, for until, until forever. Forever. That's a great endowment. Oh, absolutely. All right. Now, I know you do fundraising in a variety of ways to support these scholarships. So tell us a little bit about the gala. I know that's one of your big events. Right. Well, so we have our scholarship gala coming up on October 2nd over at the Galloping Hill Country Club. And it is the signature fundraising event of the fundraising season for the foundation. And when is it? October 2nd. And... Uh, are there still tickets available for there that? There's still a few spaces available. Um, we're expecting anywhere between 250, 275 people. We're honoring the memory of uh, Union County College Board of Governor, Dr. Gerald Glasser this year. Dr. Glasser was a great man and also a patron of the foundation. Absolutely. We wouldn't have a track team if it wasn't for uh, Dr. Glasser and his foundation. Well, Jerry Glasser was a great philanthropist and I'm delighted that we're honoring him. Tell us a little about some other things that the foundation does in addition to the gala. Well, we have also a big golf tournament that we run in April over at the Echo Lake Country Club. Uh, those two events itself raise nearly $450,000 for the foundation. But our true principle is to try to identify individual individuals, foundations, corporations in our community who think education is a key to uh, improving our society. You know, our motto, one student, uh, change our community one student at a time, really uh, rings true at the foundation office. We've seen such dramatic impact our students have made thanks to the scholarships they've received. I understand that a big part of the focus is to help working class students and working poor lower middle class kids who may not be eligible for federal financial aid. Is that, that right? That is absolutely true. Um, the Kellogg Foundation, for example, has uh, contributed so much in support of those types of students, specifically from the Elizabeth uh, area. Okay. Well, we, we're delighted that the foundation's here to help those students. I know that Thomas Jefferson said that the, the success or the, the future of a democracy is dependent on the educated citizens, and Union County College certainly appears to be doing that with the help of the foundation. Yes, absolutely. All right. So anybody who is interested in either attending the gala on October 2nd at Galloping Hill or perhaps even sponsoring, doing a sponsorship for the gala at Galloping Hill, I know that Doug Rouse at the Union County College Foundation would love to hear from you. And the number to call, email address, website, and phone number is at the lower part of your screen right now. Doug, thanks so much for being here this morning, but thank you for the work you do every day to help Union County College students, our county as a whole, and the United States of America. Thanks, thank, Doug. Thank you. We'll be right back. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. 
Learn more at energysavers.gov. Welcome back to Inside the College. I'm Dr. Maggie McMenamin, and this month's show is all about the Union County College Foundation. My next guest this morning is Mr. Larry Bash, a member of the Foundation Board, and he's also a member of the Union County College Board of Governors. Welcome, Larry. Thank you for having me. We're Enjoying thrilled that you're here. Now, I know that you've been involved in the Foundation for a long time, and that you're also one of the major donors to the Foundation. So I was hoping maybe you could talk about how you got involved, why you got involved, and why you think it's important to donate to the Foundation. Well, I don't think there's anything that has higher value in terms of your time and resources you can vote to than education. Uh, particularly um, in New Jersey, the county college system, which is terrific, and our college and union is terrific. Um, it's important because we have high need students and uh, we have strong academics but it's also practical. A lot of our people are going right out into the workforce and we're preparing them. So it's a great thing to be involved in. How long have you been on the foundation board? Uh, let's see, I think it's uh, almost 15 years. So you've been around for quite a while. And, you know, and I got involved because my, I was a city official in Plainfield, that's where I live. And we spent a lot of time supporting the efforts by the, um, uh, college to be set up a um, campus in Plainfield and then my wife took a course there and I was so impressed with um, the effort by the college and uh, and her experience was so good uh, that I ended up uh, getting involved on the foundation board. Well earlier I talked with Doug Rouse about the foundation gala which is October 2nd at Galloping Hill but I know there's another major event for the foundation, and that is the scholarship reception. That's where donors get an opportunity to meet students. Do you have any scholarships for the foundation? Well, you know, um, I have two endowed scholarships, and I did it in memory of two of my siblings. I'm the oldest in my family, uh, but I had a little brother and um, a sister that died maybe 20 years ago and 10 years ago. And um, it was just, and it has been a wonderful way to remember them. So you're honoring your younger brother and sister, your deceased younger brother and sister, through the endowing scholarships for Union County College students. And then each year at the reception, I meet the specific students that are being helped by these scholarships. And it's really a family event. I share the program with people in my family. And uh, it's like a reminder every year and every semester of um, those family members that we're honoring with the scholarship. So it's, it's, a, it's a terrific way to remember somebody. So they're never forgotten. And in the process of remembering them, you're changing the lives of several students here at Union County College. You know, that's the way I look at it. And um, I've always been so impressed. Our students are highly motivated. There's a high amount of need, but they're also highly motivated. We've got people who are deciding their future course. You know, they may, they may get their associate's degree and they decide to go on to a four-year degree. They may go right back into the workforce. But it's uh, a combination of uh, great academics and uh, the practicality of getting people out into the workforce and, and uh, producing. You know, county colleges with our affordability, our tuition's low, so donations to our foundation have a bigger bang for their buck. That's what I think. And uh, of course, I guess it's obvious that scholarships are important to a college. But in our situation in the community college system, theoretically, uh, it's supported by one-third from the state, one-third from the county, and we've had great support from the county freeholders here in Union, and one-third from the students. But because of government uh, financial pressure, particularly from the state, uh, that percentage has not been observed, and students are having to pay more and more of the cost. Now, the cost is lower than some places. I sit on a board that works hard to keep tuition costs down. But 
even more important to us is raising these scholarships because uh, we do not want uh, the cost to be an obstacle to having uh, our residents uh, have the benefit of an education from Union County College. We've been talking with foundation, board member, philanthropist, donor, and member of our Board of Governors, Mr. Larry Bash. He's got two endowed scholarships for the Union County College Foundation. We know that our mission, transforming our community one student at a time, is dependent in some ways through the generosity of members of our community who donate to the College Foundation. I want to thank you, Larry, for your service, for your generosity, and for your commitment, not only to our students, but also to our community. I'm glad to do everything I can. We'll be right back after this message. Severe weather can destroy a home in seconds. There's no time to think, only time to act. Have a kit so you're ready for any emergency. Develop a plan for what you and your family will do before disaster strikes. And stay informed during severe weather any way you can. It can be the difference between losing your possessions and losing your life. Just ask the owners of this house. Visit weather.com slash ready and let the Weather Channel help you prepare your family for emergencies. Welcome back to Inside the College. Our guests for today's show are Mr. and Mrs. Fred and Betty Koff. Welcome to Union County College. Thank you. Thank you very we're much. We're thrilled to have them here with us today, and we're here for a special event, and that is the check presentation for the Fred and Betty Koff Scholarship Fund. So these folks are residents of Westfield, New Jersey, and one day they made a decision to make a landmark gift to the Union County College Foundation. They are platinum centurion donors to the College Foundation. And I just thought it'd be a nice idea for everyone to get to know them a little better. So Fred, Betty, tell us, what, what made you decide to make such a generous donation to our foundation? Well, we've had a few associations with the college, our, our own family, and uh, also with students that I've taught here in the EMT program. So you but were an EMT instructor at Union County College? Yes, I was. When at was the Plainfield that? Plainfield campus. Okay, in Plainfield. Oh dear, that was quite a while ago, maybe 30 years. All right, so mm -hmm. some of your former students are probably seeing you on the, on the TV I'm right sure now. I'm sure they are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, they're out there saving lives. Yes, right. So you and were a uh, teacher here, and in that what other connections was. to the college? And um, our older son went here for a a year, I guess, after he was not doing well where he ha had planned to go. And he got himself into Union County College when he was booted out, actually. And then they sort of straightened him out over here. Good. It was nice. He went on to get a master's degree, and uh, he was, uh, you know, and he found his, found his way kind of through Union County College. Our younger son was involved with the astronomy group, the amateur astronomers, even went to Australia with them as a senior in high school. And he had his eyes on the stars, but he's now a doctor of ge geology, so he went down a little bit farther. But he spent a little bit of time at the observatory here on he the did. campus then. He did, then. quite a bit. He had mm -hmm. a good experience with it. Fantastic. It's so still going? Yes, yeah, yes, we're still going over there. So we'll probably have an event down there that you'll, you'll get to visit it again. Terrific. He so, would like to see it. So your uh, decision, you, one day you said, why not Union County College? How did it happen? Well, I don't know. We were talking about several colleges that we were giving donations. And I said, oh, why don't we do Union County right now and get it over with and forget putting it in the will or anything. And surprisingly, we were both in agreement <laughs> uh, and, Is that, was that unusual? And, uh, it is very unusual. And, and, we, and we both said, why not make this uh, at the highest level that we're going to give any college? And uh, <clears throat> because before that, I had thought, uh, you know, we were going to honor uh, a few others. And we said, why don't, we, uh, why don't we put this up at the highest level of what we're giving because it'll reach the most people, and we're, we're interested in that. 
And uh, uh, just like that, we, uh, it was instant agreement. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, the Coff Family Scholarship will help Union County College transform our community one student at a time. Their single donation of $500,000 to our foundation will be an endowed scholarship that will live forever and change the lives of our students, our community, and our nation. And for that, we are most grateful to Betty and to Fred Koff for your generosity. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank a lot. you. Hi, my name is Victoria Pertigau, and I'm from Kenilworth, New Jersey. Should, wait, I'm sorry, should I say New Jersey? My name is Ashley Dominguez. My town of residence is Elizabeth, New Jersey. My major is nursing. I'm expected to graduate May of 2017. I'm nervous. I'm currently majoring in criminal justice, and I plan to graduate in spring 2016. My name is Nicholas Romero. My town of residence is Roselle. I'm a business major. My name is Mary Andrea Velasquez. Um, I live in Elizabeth. Uh, my major is dental hygiene. With this scholarship, I'm able to focus solely on my academics and not have to worry so much about college expenses. Uh, as an international student, I don't receive as many help from other places, but here at Union County College, I have received tremendous help through these scholarships. And it has also motivated me to be part of the college community. Oh yeah, should it be longer? Or? What this scholarship has enabled me to do is to achieve a great, uh, I don't know what to say. This scholarship means a lot for me. And receiving this scholarship has um, given to me the opportunity to keep follow following my dream. Recently I got chosen as treasurer of the Student Government Association and I'm also a tutor at the Academic Learning Center. So this help have allowed me to be part of this college community. My name is Ashley Dominguez. Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, last Next take. Last. This scholarship has enabled me to obtain a job here at Union County College as a work study. It also has allowed me to feel more confident and stronger because with it, I know that somebody believes in me, you know, someone believes in me as a, star, as a student. Welcome back to Inside the College. I'm Dr. Maggie McMenamin, president of Union County College. Today's topic for our show is the Union County College Foundation, and our next guest is the chairman of the Union County College Board of Trustees, Mr. Victor M. Richel. And Vic Richel is not only the chairman of our board, but he is a great philanthropist, and he has chosen to make Union County College one of his principal charities. So first I want to say thank you for your generous donations over the last 25, 30 years, but also try to find out why did you choose Union County College? Why, why make, your, make us and our mission one of your principal causes? Well, Dr. McMahon, Andrea and I have uh, forever been uh, very proud of what Union County College does and particularly because we think education is the key to success in everybody's life. And um, it's given us great, just great pleasure being able to help people here at the college. Each year, Andrea and I help at least three students. Now that's through your scholarship donations. Yes, we have, um, we have a, our own uh, Ritual Family Foundation. Uh, we have a scholarship that is known as the Ritual Lepre Scholarship, one from the foundation. And we have a third one that we gift to a graduating senior from uh, Governor Livingston High School in oh. Berkeley Heights because we live there. Okay. Uh, and that student must come to Union County College. All right, so I know you have these wonderful scholarships and at least three kids a year benefit from that yeah. Ritual Lepre scholarship. But you've also made donations for the capital campaign in the past and I know we have the Ritual Commons here and you were instrumental in helping us create that fantastic space for students and for study. So talk to us about some of your other well, contributions. Uh, Andrea, again, and I say, I, I must tell you, it's Andrea and I. We I do know, it together. She's, she's a very important part of this. But Andrea is Mrs. Ritual. Right. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, we have participated in a number of capital campaigns. I've 
chaired a couple of the capital campaigns here, but all because we believe that the mission of Union County College uh, and the, the work done by our faculty and by you, Dr. McMiniman, and your wonderful staff uh, helps our students become the leaders uh, that we so desperately need tomorrow. So we're thrilled to be participating. Now you're a lifelong resident of Union County, isn't that I right? I am. You're um, born in Elizabeth? Born in Elizabeth, went to high school in Elizabeth. Uh, I, I uh, went to Thomas Jefferson, which is now Elizabeth High School. Andrea went to Batten. Mm -hmm. Our parents went to uh, then Batten. Okay. Our fathers graduated from Rutgers Law. Mm -hmm. uh, Andrea's mother. So you uh, really have a true commitment to this county? We do, to the city and the county. And of course, we've been Berkeley Heights residents forever. But yes, we are committed totally to Union County and particularly to Union County College. Transforming our community one student at a time. We do that. We accomplish that mission at Union County College with the help and support of donors like Andrea and Vic Richel. Fred and Betty Koff, and many others who are willing to make a commitment to support higher education for students who cannot afford to go to college. Thanks so much, Vic. Thanks to Andrea. And thank you to all the donors to the Union County College Foundation.